Now, this is a trade that I post in the uh, trading room uh, uh, yesterday, Friday. Uh, cat Japanese yen. Uh, looking for a sell. Uh, if you have gone, if, I, if you have attended my this uh, week uh, Wednesday coaching plus live trading sessions, uh, you realize that the strategy which I teach uh, on that uh, during that sessions uh, play out perfectly on this uh, cat yen. All right. So let's take a look at this cat yen now in the four hourly time frame. Now, if you are more like an intraday trader, four hourly time frame can be your higher time frame, which I mentioned many times, right? So we can see that uh, we have this uh, price rally up, right? And the price break this low. So this is what we call the change of market behavior, right? This move down, change of market behavior. So from an uptrend, once we have this change of market behavior, we can consider uh, the market potentially might uh, do a retracement or even a reversal, right? We, 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 we do not know, right? Whether it is going to be like uptrend and a reversal, uh, a retracement before continue higher, or is it going to be uh, like this? And continue lower we don't really know right we cannot tell the future what's going to happen next but what we can do is we can capitalize on this movement even though that this is just a retracement now if this can turn out to be a reversal then of course that is that that that, that is uh you're going to have a very good risk reward right so regardless whether it's a retracement or a reach or a reversal we can actually take this trade all right, if you understand this concept, which I teach. Now, so after this uh, change of market behavior, this, this move down, right, we can see the price actually make a lower low. Lower than this low. Okay. So immediately, we know that if the price pull back, we are going to take a sell and take our profit here. We now go to the lower time frame. Example, one hour time frame. Okay, the level that we are looking to sell is, of course, that this level. Okay, this you can see my horizontal line there. So I'm waiting for price to come back to this area. I, I want to sell. Okay, so one hour time frame. Well, we see the price start coming back. Look at that, All right? Come back to that level. So now we go to the lower time frame again, 15 minutes time frame. Now, as we see the price rally up into this four, okay, you can see there's a four H there. It means that this is a four hourly time frame, right? Uh, zoned, uh, trading zoned. Now, do I want to take a shot there when I see the price coming up? So I, I'm waiting for some kind of reversal in the lower time frame, right? Now, in the lower time frame, in 15 minutes time frame, we can also see that price has created this. You see the break here, price pull back, break, right? Of course, we, we didn't participate here, but now we are trying to look for a trade here, okay? We are trying to look for a trade there. So how to get into the trade? The level I'm looking at is this one, of course, this is a trap order here, okay? So I'm waiting for another entry setup over here. Price already arrived my higher time frame point of interest. Now I want to look to sell. But I will not just put a sell there. I want to look for entry setup. All right, so let's continue. So immediately, I put my sell limit. My stop loss will be this high. Okay, where's my target? Okay, here. Eh? Here we have a demand there. So just be careful. We just put here back safer, right? So we have a one is a three. Okay, this is a demand there. We don't we are not sure whether price will continue to go down right? so it's the best is take our take our profit here so let's move back to five minutes time frame you can see yeah our order trigger i think if this one never get trigger i think this one get trigger our target is here we'll test a few times huh? mm -hmm. okay finally see finally right Impeat our target here, demand, right? So one trade out. So now, this was the first trade I took yesterday, right? After the price hit my target, 
I'm out. Then in the night, in the night, we can see the price new, during the New York sessions, the price start moving back up again. So when I look at this in a higher time frame, for example, one hour time frame, now what do I see? Well, I see the price drop, base, huge drop, price pull back. I may, may enter there and took my profit there. Okay, so now it looks like if the price come back a second time again, do I want to trade? Well, let's take a look. Five minutes time frame. Now, do I see any area, right? So the area I'm looking at right now is, uh, let me see. Yeah. This five minutes not so clear. 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm, I'm going in here again. Once again, I'm going in to take a second shot. Here, the first trade I, I already taken, right? Risk reward on three. So when the price come back, when the price come back to this area, I'm going to take a second second shot again. And my stop loss here above. Now, where's my target, right? Look at here, right? So my target is going to be there. Either this low, this low, or here, right? So I better take this low to be a, to, on the safer side. I take this low as my target and let it play out. Home, look at that. Immediately, my order gets triggered. My stop loss is the, up, up there. Perfect. Second target. So last time I have two trades here on this pair, right? And both, both trades play out according to plan, right? It's exactly what I, I, I show you. I teach you the, the new, new method of trading, right? On the Wednesday, uh, when live trading, right? So this kind of patterns, I call this winning pattern. It happens all the time. For, look for charts which are very clear, right? Those patterns uh, which are not that clear, Forget about it. Look for patterns which are very clear. Currency that give you a very clear pattern, usually their odds of winning are very high. Okay? So I hope that this helped. Right? See you, see you again next time.